Greetings. Welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. You indeed are a very special person and we don't take it lightly that you have tuned in. We bring you greetings from the West Angeles Church of God in Christ, pastored by Bishop Charles and Mrs. May L. Blake. We love you and certainly uh, you're going to be blessed with some dynamic information. So you want to sit back, but I hope that you have your pen and your paper mm -hmm. because you want to take notes of the show and then not only take notes, but you want to take down our contact information at the end of the show because perhaps you might want to contact our guests. And so our email address, phone number, et cetera, will be up there and uh, you can contact them through us. And so again, sit back. You shall be blessed by the information that is shared on this show. Well, I believe by faith that you are a regular viewer, and if that being the case, then you know for a fact that I do not sit alone, but uh, sitting with me is my co-host, um, Pamela Diane Webb. How art thou doing? I'm great. How you doing, Dr. Tanya D. Lewis? <laughs> you doing great? I'm doing fine. You're looking to beautiful you. today. Well, back to you. Girl, I'm changing my lifestyle. You going to change it? Oh, Why? yes, I am. Why? Because. I decided that I'm going to start eating properly, <sighs> exercising. I bet you don't know what our topic is today uh, from all of that. That sounds kind of healthy kind of stuff. Kind of Healthy mean. lifestyle. Healthy living. <laughs> healthy living. Wow. Okay. All right. And then you know what? Huh. You're not alone because all we right. have three people. You're not alone. I'm not okay. alone. We have three people that can help us. That's okay. Right. Help us. So, <laughs> help, hey. help a sister out. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and so we want to introduce our very special guest who walk in this, uh, in, in, in this as a lifestyle right. mm -hmm. of healthy living. First to my uh, to our immediate right uh, on the end is Roxy Coleman, Roxanne Coleman, a right. uh, <laughs> well living coach and uh, certainly a woman who has uh, is not a We've stranger. Known, yes. Yeah, she knows right. to a degree that you say, Roxy, I don't want to hear all that. Okay, <laughs> I don't mean to tell me nothing. She, she knows. Give okay. me my chickens. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. She knows. okay, all right, okay, all right. And <laughs> sitting next to her is Coach G. Coach G. Margot Clark, yes. all the way all from right. the side. <laughs> Certainly, uh, she is um, uh, uh, also a well-living mm -hmm. coach and also, too, not a stranger to uh, af uh, athletics. athletics. Mm -hmm. Exactly, playing basketball here, there, and everywhere, uh -huh. and, and, and school. And so we're going to get into that. Mm -hmm. And then certainly the lady in black <laughs> from head to toe <laughs> is you. the right reverend um, mm -hmm. ND, which stands for Naturopathist. Uh huh. Dr. Adrian Thank Wright. Thank and you. And so, uh, certainly a woman who knows her stuff. And we are going to be blessed, Pamela, That's as you right. and I and hear from these three. With our knowledge about Girl, this come subject. On. And then we, we, we're going to hear it, and then we're going to mm -hmm. do it. We're going to practice. Okay, all right. All right. Amen. All right then. That's a good thing. <laughs> Y'all like that? Do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, um, we're talking about healthy eating and healthy living. Now, not coming from Webster, but what would be your definition, starting with you, Dr. A, what would be your definition of healthy living? Healthy living would encompass, uh, it, it's very broad, but if we can narrow it down just a little bit, it would encompass addressing your physical man, emotional man, and your spiritual man. You oh. cannot do it without all three. Oh, wow. And we call that homeostasis, and that's bringing harmony into the temple. Okay. And with the uh, physical aspect of it, um, with what we're eating, we, we want to stay away from dead, devitalized foods, and that would mean your canned foods, your frozen foods, your fast foods, and eat more whole foods, cooking from scratch. We go back to where our mother's mother used she to cook and prepare cooking. food. She said cooking. Cooking. Yeah, that's what she said, cooking. Right. Right. <laughs> she said no, no fast food. No, ways, no, no fast, fast food. foods. And then, of course, I'm uh, ministering to myself first. We must <laughs> stay away from stinking thinking, uh, anger, unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. This all have a hindrance on our bodies and how it functions in our, our health. 
and water, 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 exercise, exercise is a must. Mm. So these, this gives you just a broad picture of what I think healthy living should be. Okay. What mm -hmm. about you, Coach G? Well, I like to keep it really simple. Being the best that you can be, that's healthy living. And to me, the only way you can be the best you can be is to truly know God. God will facilitate the food, the working out, mm -hmm. the, the mental, the, the emotional. That's all a part of a man. So healthy living is the complete man. And I believe it's got to be done through God. Mm. Okay. All right. You got that right. Uh, Roxanne? I'm going to piggyback both questions. of those. Piggyback yeah. both of those. Okay. It's uh, mind, body, and soul, like Amen. they're both saying. Yeah. And um, your gates. You do have to be mindful of what goes That's in your right. gates. Amen. It's your eyes, your ears, and your mouth. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's the avenue by which you live. Mm. And if garbage is going in either one of those, then garbage is coming out. Garbage you're in, garbage, garbage out. out. <laughs> and you're going right. to be evident. Of, it's going to be evident all over you what's going on in your body. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you, you may reference that as it is a broad category mm -hmm. or yes. subject. Now, uh, because of that, what tends to be your particular focus area within under the umbrella of healthy living? Uh, Coach C? I would have to say um, overall wellness, balance. We believe in being balanced. That would be, you know, what we're saying, your spiritualness has got to be first. Mm -hmm. If God is not first, as a matter of fact, we, we prefer only to deal with godly people. If God is not first, then, um, then none of this is going to work. I mean, you, you get started, but you're going to crash. Okay. And um, after that, we deal with the rest of the body, you know, the workout, the eating, the the balancedness in how you look, your appearance, how you keep your house, how you, it's, it's a whole hmm. gamut of everything. This, your body can't be out of whack and then where you live look like a jungle. You know, it's gotta, it's gotta all hmm. come together for you to come together. Mm, we're talking about holistic living, yes. huh? Yes. What about you, um, uh, I, My expertise, obviously we haven't been a professional basketball player and you know yeah, climbing sure trees my whole entire life <laughs> yeah, sure you know, climbing trees. I was fortunate <laughs> enough to you know play basketball at the University of Arizona and, and in the WNBA and play in several countries so I um, you know I strayed before you know God uses you to come back sometimes mm -hmm. you have to stray he allows you to stray to come back mm -hmm. to being a whole person mm -hmm. so I really am in tune with the physical Okay. Um, and it's not about just how you look, it's more about how you feel. It's mm -hmm. more about your body type being in tune with your own body type, okay. being the best body type you can be in that body type. Mm -hmm. um, one woman can't say, I want to look like another woman right. or another mm -hmm. man, I want to look like him. It's like right. you don't have to want to be you. Right. So That's I right. like to look at a person and I can almost, it's, it's, it's a gift that God has given me to see what they can be mm -hmm. um, and work towards that. Mm -hmm. I like that because that, that gives freedom, that releases freedom because exactly. then it, because what People you said at, mm -hmm. is that everybody is not going to be thin like mm -hmm. you. Right. You're, you're, you're right. a nice size. Uh -huh. I wish I could be. Right. Uh, I've never been. I don't think even as a baby I was that right. size. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. But the point being, your statement allows the person to be the best that they mm -hmm. can be right. and, and uh, be healthy in that, but be the best that they can be. Right. Love yourself uh, by improving yourself. Yes. Right. And, 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 and be free to be yourself. And so that I, takes the world out of it. You know, the worldly thinking is, you know, we have to compete with, you know, you Tom, see. Dick, and Harry. Right. You don't have mm -hmm. to compete. Mm -hmm. This is about this is about living your life. God made us all to be who we are mm -hmm. and to accomplish what we're uh -huh. supposed to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And I can't walk another man's walk or another right. woman's walk. That's right. So my physical appearance has to be mine. Mm -hmm. I have to own it. So mm -hmm. we try to teach our clients, you know, love yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't love yourself, mm -hmm. who else can mm -hmm. you love? Exactly. And who will love you? Go girl. <laughs> all right. All right, Dr. A, you want to jump in there? Yes. You know, and I'm, I'm, I really am enjoying what the, both of these young ladies are, have just said. Mm -hmm. And they are coming from the physical. Um, I would say that most of my clients, when they come to me, I must deal with the internal. Okay. And it's like when you have a weed in your yard, and if you don't pull the root up, the weed will grow back. And I must address the the inside man. And the and the body has nine systems, and th three of those nine systems are the most important. That's your limitative, digestive, and your nervous system. And of those three systems, the most important is your nervous system. Once it's relaxed, everything pretty much will fall in place. So when clients come to me. They are really sick, many of them. And we believe that 95 to 97% of all challenges in the temple starts in the colon. So mm -hmm. I cannot negate mm -hmm. the eliminative system mm -hmm. and the digestive that breaks down the food and the nervous system. And we work for that. I specialize in working with that foundationally. And then we branch out with other things that are going on in their bodies. Then we need 
I address my clients to people right. like these two young ladies. Right. We got we must exercise. Yeah. It's imperative. Yeah. So a lot of times, if a person looks gorgeous on the outside, they could be dying internally. It's true. So true. the yeah. internal aspect is what I specialize in initially, and I I I, it, I just the way God has leaned me, I tend to specialize holistically more in, with my HIV mm -hmm. slash cancer clients. Mm -hmm. But regardless to what a client has going on in their body, we must address it internally first mm -hmm. with nutrition. And cleansing. Mm -hmm. how, how did you all get into this? I mean, since yeah. everybody yeah. in the world is not a uh, healthy mind, nutritious mm -hmm. minded, how did you get in? What, what sparked your interest? Any of you? Well, well, for me, um, if I may, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, in eight, 1985, I was in a car accident. <clears throat> I was on a high roll, six figure a year girl with a major corporation, and boom, the accident came left brain impact, both right and left brain damage. Mm. Totally deaf in the right ear, 70% in the left, paralyzed on the right side, 14 seizures a week for six years. Wow. I had no choice. Wow. If I had to call on Jesus, I, th that was the time I had mm. to call on Jesus. I met a woman uh, shortly after, about a year after the accident, a woman that did the type of work that I did. And that's how I got into this business. And I know what I know, what I know, what God's medicine mm. can do and what nutrition can do and what exercise can do to your temple. Mm. And I was running. I had a trainer like these ladies mm. and I was running uh, 30, 35 miles a week, seven and a half minute miles. And because of my physical condition that kept me alive, mm. yes. to survive, so to cleanse. All of you mm. can't negate wow. one without the other. Mm. We need them. And you need to work on the inside. That's how I got in this business. Mm, wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, any input from, from you ladies? Well, I got into it, you know, my testimony is a long testimony, but just briefly, you know, when I met, I met Roxy by happenstance at a Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. you know, the Lord was speaking to me to get myself together. Mm -hmm. I was 272 pounds. I was on Prozac. I was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I was a weed head, you mm -hmm. name it. Mm -hmm. You know, my life was in shambles mm -hmm. and I was getting sick uh, every year. I was, you know, I went from being this healthy, thin basketball player to this obese person that's getting sick every year, going mm -hmm. into the hospital four or five days and, you know, they don't know what's wrong with me. And, and I just got tired, you know, mm -hmm. and I think God was putting his thumb on me like it's time, it's time, it's wow. time. Yes. And when we met, you know, she's into this and, and she, you know, I kind of just kind of piggyback off of her. And mm -hmm. as I learned, I said, wow, you know, I just kind of came into my own and, and kind of sponged everything up, wow. mm -hmm. you know, with the herbs and, and the, the eating. You know, a lot of that stuff I knew as a basketball mm -hmm. player, but, you know, mm -hmm. when you... 20 that's years right. old yeah, and you, right. you're 150 pounds and you run all day, hey, you can hey, eat what you want to eat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's somebody right. else. like, okay, when I get older, yeah, yeah, but yeah, as I got know. older, you know, I'm, I'm 36 years old, I'm not, you know, 27 anymore mm -hmm. and I had to adjust and <laughs> with the adjustment, I feel better than I've ever felt. Wow. I feel like I'm 18 again, I'm, I'm my skin from, yes. from everything, you know, mm -hmm. I, got, I got that back in order, mm -hmm. just through eating right. What are, wow. some of the, what are some of the uh, excuses that we use uh, so that uh, we keep ourselves from being host holistically yeah. healthy? Here are all these. <laughs> um, uh, it's too expensive. I don't have enough time. My knees hurt. My, my back hurts. I can't walk. I can't walk. I just, I just, I've never been able to walk. I don't, I don't, I don't like water. I, I, I never drink water. I, I, I can't take pills. Mm -hmm. I, I can't swallow pills. I, 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 I don't like vegetables. I, I, you, would, I don't have time. And what would you say to all of that? Hogwash. Hogwash. <laughs> I was going to say hogwash. <laughs> and that's a lazy spirit. Okay. Exactly. And, and a lot of times, a lot of they don't, I don't want to drink the water because I have to go to the bathroom so often. Really? But mm -hmm. you know what? The kidneys are <laughs> tiny little, before. they're tiny little things that sit right in the back here. Oh. And they are so smart. And when you don't drink water, the kidneys are saying, well, you know, girlfriend, we better hold mm -hmm. on to this water because, see, she's not going to give us any more. And so the body the starts retaining mm -hmm. and you start getting uh, 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 excess and swelling in the limbs. And, and then, or oh, I have to go to the bathroom so often. But remember, God has made this exactly. temple mm -hmm. so magnificently. It's intelligent. Once the kidneys come to the realization that you're going to be, the key is consistent. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the kidneys start normalizing itself. So you urinate less, but more mass, more volume. Yes, mm -hmm. they'll hold it. Mm -hmm. it. And so it's just about getting, it's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle. And, it's, and we all go through training and educating people to mm -hmm. make that plunge into a new lifestyle exactly. and it's not easy exactly. Mm. exactly it's a commitment so you, you said something about price so people don't think that their value we don't think that we're right. worth that that's much right. but, but right. you, you know what 
you 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 either gonna pay now or you're gonna pay mm -hmm. later. Amen. Uh -huh. And usually mm -hmm. the later is you're paying the system. Because you're in the Much pharmaceutical more. <laughs> way yeah. surgery, right. the pharmaceutical, mm -hmm. the hospitals, yes. the doctors, yes. which prefer to cut you first. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of teaching you how right. to prevent what happened to uh -huh. you. So mm -hmm. we're just coming in the front door yeah. telling you, let's Let's not go to the uh, back door. Yeah. Uh -huh. We don't have to go to the back door. Mm -hmm. But people, you know, the doctor can tell you. The doctor will tell them, you got to take 15 pills. See. You get six for $200. The mm -hmm. They will raise the money, sell bottles, whatever they can mm -hmm. to get the money. Uh -huh. But you tell them, let's go to the herbalist and get you something that's going to stop that condition. Oh, that costs too much. But you mm -hmm. let the pharmacist uh -huh. rob you mm -hmm. blind. Mm -hmm. Sit up, put a mortgage on your house. You're paying all kind of crazy bills to go to the doctor, and you're not getting better because they're putting a Band-Aid mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. And it's about to the root and of the solution. There you go, and it's about priority. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you ladies, but I, we only want to discuss how many pairs of shoes I have and how many bags to match the shoes. Mm -hmm. right. I will spend money for shoes. I'll spend money for, for cologne and jewelry, mm -hmm. but I won't spend money for my me. physicalness. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's about, and it's about educating people about self-worth mm -hmm. and not putting themselves yes. in a box yes. and setting new guidelines and new parameters for self. And I usually like to go with my clients and take them to 1 Corinthians 3, 16, 17. This temple doesn't belong to us. Mm -hmm. It belongs to the Lord. He has loaned it to us. Mm -hmm. It is our obligation, like Roxy was saying, what we put into our mm -hmm. eye gates and our ear gates mm -hmm. and into our mouth. And that scripture also says, if I may paraphrase, if you don't take care of me, the temple, I shall destroy you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the only two choices we have is to mm -hmm. love the temple, it's which is the Lord, mm -hmm. or he will destroy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it takes a while for people to really get it. Mm -hmm. Herbs. Er do herbs really work? Hmm. Herbs definitely work. Herbs work. What are herbs? And I know I'm probably the novice up here, and I, I want to jump on this question. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I know with my transition, um, you know, to lose the kind of weight in the time I did it, it was it was actually less than a year to lose 100 pounds. But awesome. it was strict, strict eating, and, and it's all herbs. Yes. Um, and I know for myself, I felt a tremendous change. Mm. You know, with the herbs, it wasn't like you know you take medicine, you feel kind of drowsy, you, you got to kind of get through it. I felt like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. And and to me, I may not know the medical terms that they might know, but I know what it feels like because I was a kid. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And you that's know what else? I wanted, else I wanted to piggyback on the last question okay. really quickly, just to say okay. that a lot of people are dealing with. You're talking about spiritual warfare when you're talking about this yes. body. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? And we have spirits of lasciviousness and gluttony. Mm -hmm. Those things don't want to give you up. Amen. So we, Amen. you know, a lot of people want to listen to when they start to when it starts to talk to you. Oh yeah, you're right. You know, yeah, I just want to stay like this. This is the way I am. This way Mama was. Well, Mama had a spirit on her as well and yes, we want to break that we right. want to break those generational amen. curses, curses. Uh -huh. and those things that have bound us mm -hmm. so you know that coupled with the herbs I think if people really want to get their lives together it's for the taking mm -hmm. uh, herbs mm -hmm. are food in a capsule and a lot of our clients I don't know about there a lot of my clients get it really twisted and confused okay. and they think because we've been so programmed to take medicine, medicine. Okay. Right. and say well I'm going to take right. my medicine no 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 you're going to take God's food mm -hmm. and it's just in a capsule mm -hmm. now what the Asians do they don't put it in a capsule they eat the actual root and they mm -hmm. boil it and it's so bitter but they have was grown up with it from this right. high so mm -hmm. they've come accustomed That's to right. it uh -huh. but Western People in the Westerns, uh, that's right. They are not accustomed to it, and so it, they, they can't handle it. The palate cannot handle it. So they put it in a capsule. It's strictly food. You don't eat after 8 o'clock at night. You don't take 99% of most herbs after 8 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. It's a food. You eat, go to bed, it ferments, rottens, and decays. Mm -hmm. So Good. an herb is food. They're different than vitamins and minerals. The process are different. Mm -hmm. So that's how you should look at it. It's food that you're putting into the temple. No, 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 no. Uh, bear with me for a moment. Uh, your profession, is that the profession that will look in the eyes and can tell what's wrong with someone? Um, I have that, that credential. Okay. It's called iridology. Okay. An, uh, an iridologist is a person, and it's, it come, goes way back uh, uh, from the Asians that, that, uh, uh, years and years and centuries ago. And you have the ability to look into the eyes whenever the body goes through any type of changes or there is a decay, or even if a person do drugs and you have drug deposits in the body, you cannot determine whether it's cocaine, alcohol, or an aspirin. We believe you put it all in one bag, shake it up, it's the same thing. A drug is a drug. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it deteriorates the body. But you can look into the iris of the eye and it literally leaves markings where there are parasite tracks, whether mm -hmm. there is a challenge going on in the body. And an iridologist has that vehicle to determine what type of herb to give that person. Mm -hmm. 
and you can go back and you can see the healing, but the markings never leave. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome. You can see if you're constipated. Mm -hmm. You can see the, the, where you hold, hold your, your, your stress the, 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 in, in the nervous system into the... It's just amazing. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful technique. And the brown eye is the most difficult eye to, um, <laughs> to read, believe it or not. Yeah, right. And when I got my training under Dr. Bernard Jensen, who's, who's gone home to the Lord, he, um, uh, most of the people that were there had were blue and green eyes. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I need to learn on a brown eye, my people. Right, 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 right. And it's really amazing about the brown eye because it, it's just so many quakes and craters and, mm -hmm. and discussion, and you really have to look. So I always like to pray before I go in because the enemy will try to mm -hmm. deceive you right. and say, no, you didn't see that or you yes, missed that. Yes. And, you, and, and it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many alternatives right. out there to drugs and medicine. And I do want to make this one quick statement. Many medicines, drugs, is a derivative of an herb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For example, take the herb valerian root. Mm -hmm. okay. They've taken valerian root, they've put chemicals in it, and now it's Valium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's mm -hmm. our herbal value is mm -hmm. valerian root. Mm -hmm. It's a nervine That's for the right. nervous That's system. Right. That's right. So yeah. it's just about educating. I don't know it all. There's a revolving door. You're always open to learn. But it's just being open to an alternative. So I, we believe in preventative alternative medicine. Mm -hmm. So then for someone to uh, change their lifestyle and, and now become a part of this herbal holistic uh, well-living cycle, then they would need to be under... Uh, a professional care to, in, in, in other words, rather than just walking to an herb store right. and just getting some Probably herbs. Mm -hmm. You kind of right. need to know what you're doing. Right. So, yeah, some herbs are better from in a male body versus a female body. Right. Oh. Some herbs are just more, it's just amazing. Let's take the herb ginseng, for example. Okay. If a woman takes too much ginseng, she's going to get hair in places that she doesn't want. Oh, from her breast to her chin to <laughs> right. her, you know, her nipples on her breast. She doesn't want that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's really an herb for a male. Oh, okay. But it gives you energy and it does other things. But we can have another herb, an alternative for a female. Mm -hmm. And there's certain herbs for the nervous system that's much more effective in a male body than it is in mm -hmm. a female body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do insurance companies recognize uh, this holistic living as being covered uh, as they do like in the medical field? Most, Most of them, of them don't. don't. Mm -hmm. They're okay. coming around because people are getting sick and tired of being tired and sick. Mm -hmm. They really are. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's coming around. Okay. Give us some uh, health tidbits, please. Uh, we we want to change our life. We want healthy living habits. What are some things that we should focus in on? What, what should we do? Stop eating so much red meat. Mm -hmm. If you, if, if actually, if you would come off of it, it would be better for you. Use the bathroom. You're, as Adrian has said repeatedly, if you're, if you're constipated, <coughs> the waste is not it's leaving. Stored somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's being stored somewhere in the body. When clients come to me, so those that are out there listening, you may not want to come, but we're <laughs> going to pray that you do. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to say, eliminate all, capital A-L-L, -L, red meat, all pork, all dairy. Yes. I encourage you and employ you to go to the book of Leviticus and read it. It's in the Word. There's certain things that we should eat. I don't eat any fish <clears throat> that doesn't have scales or fins. All shellfish and all fish that don't have, they're scavengers. It took me three years to wean myself from yeah, shrimp. Yeah, shrimp yeah, is the yeah, cockroach of the ocean. Yes, he is. Yes, and in terms of constipation, remember I said earlier, 97% of all challenges we believe starts in the colon. Yes. It's imperative that you get to a place that you're having a bowel movement an hour and a half to two hours after every Mail. meal Mail. you mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. Even when you have the bowel movements, they have to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. it, it would indicate whether you have enough fiber. When that spicular muscle cuts it off, if you've got enough fiber in the body, you don't even need hardly any toilet paper. You shouldn't have a lot of odor. You shouldn't right. be belching. You shouldn't right. be burping. Mm -hmm. Gassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. So we also teach, when they, when they come to us, we teach you how to food combine. Food yes. combine is, is important where you don't combine carbs right. with, with protein, which right. causes weight gain, right. indigestion, fatigue. I got it from the book Fit for Life. I haven't reinvented the the the, 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 the will. <laughs> I've just eliminated the red meat, pork, and the right, dairy. Right. Okay. So those are the things that are very very important. If you didn't buy one herb and we just dealt with the nutritional and food combined and eliminate certain foods, give yourself seven to ten days, you would be amazed. Really? Exactly. That's exactly. Amazing. And the and the, yeah. the the part on a piggyback on what she said about the combinations. The world has been taught that they need to have a vegetable, Start. a starch, <laughs> and a meat and, that's what they and a protein. That's right. Those those foods don't mix. Don't. They don't go together. And you want to hear something else deeper than that, just as deep as that? Do you know the average pl place we go to a rest uh, to a hotel? What do they do when they have a fruit bowl? They have your apples and pineapples. 
All in the food fruits. combining, there's four categories of, of, of fruits, really five. You have your acid fruits, your subacids, you have your sweet fruits, and your melons. You don't combine them. None it causes those. havoc in the in colon. The system, yeah. If you eat fruit and eat food, it rottens and decays yes, in the colon. Yes, you yes. must eat, wait three hours before you intake fruit, or it will rotten and yes, decay. Yes. And guess what? Avocados and tomatoes are considered vegetable fruits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do we put on our salads? Tomatoes. You're supposed to eat them 15 minutes before, otherwise it decays. And decayed food in the stomach, you're setting yourself up for colon cancer mm -hmm. and yeah. other havoc. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's just what, what the word says, knowledge is power. Yeah. Yeah. Our people perish because we have a lack yeah. of yeah. knowledge. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's about educating yourself and saying, look here, Temple, you must get in, in line, line with the word. Mm -hmm. You must get in line with the Lord. And we're going to d go on this journey. It's a new lifestyle here. Wow. Wow. And the, the most important part about it is stop, stop eating to live. Okay. Live to eat. Amen. You, you, Amen. You, there you, you go. Right. You eat, don't, it, it, do something else with it. Get a life. Do something else. <laughs> don't, spend, don't spend your life mm -hmm. eating or thinking about eating. Do something. Play ball. Mm -hmm. Go skating. You know, do something. Well, certainly we know that our, our show is down to the last couple of minutes, a last minute, but we certainly invite you, our guests, to contact us. Uh, you want to hear more fabulous information, life-changing information. So until next time, know that we love you and blessings be upon you. This is really a, a lot of information. Wow. And we